I was going to start off by saying good morning, but is it still morning or we hit the afternoon hour already? Uh, I, I stand before you as a very lucky person in many ways. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm so lucky is for 14 years I've represented the people of Fairfield, Connecticut, two of whom, two of whom are Meg Staunton and Nancy Lefkowitz. And, and what they have done should be a lesson to everybody that one person, or in this case, two people, can make a difference. That two people, that two people starting a cause, regardless of what that cause is, can end up with over 5,000 people at their capital marching for change. I also stand before you as a state senator who for those same 14 years has had the incredible privilege of representing the people of Newtown, Connecticut. And, and that December 14th, spending the day at the firehouse is something that has changed me forever as it has changed so many people, not in just in Newtown, not just in Connecticut, not just across our country, but in the world at large that we live. And what I have changed in my own life, as a dad, I hug my kids a lot tighter and a lot longer than I used to. As a human, I live my life better and try to, as the saying goes in Newtown, choose love instead of a culture of violence that we have in our country. And that is something that we can all do beyond any laws that we may pass. Each one of us can make a difference in making our society better. reason why I want, there are many other reasons why I'm a lucky person, but the last reason I want to share with you today is because in Connecticut, we are having that conversation and we are working together to pass laws as we have done in the past. I sat, I sat in the basement, I sat in the basement of the old Newtown Edmond Town Hall. Let me change what I was going to say. It, it, in Washington, D.C., Republicans and Democrats won't even sit down and talk with one another. And, and here's, what, here's what is okay about, here's, here's what is okay and acceptable about our democracy. Having different opinions is okay and healthy for our democracy. Here's what's not acceptable. Here's what's not acceptable. Allowing those differences to be a barrier to making progress. In Washington, in Washington, they allow their differences to be an excuse not to work together, not to make change, and not to make progress. In Connecticut, we sit together. Ma'am, I stand by my record for 14 years. I am proud of the record I have, whether it's voting for an assault weapons ban, which we've done in Connecticut on a bipartisan basis. We can work together. We will work together in Connecticut. What we need is to demand that our representatives in Washington take, our, take lesson from our lead and work together to make Connecticut and our nation a safer place. Thank you very much.